So here I have a sample project loaded up. It is a ring. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but when I highlight it, you can see it. Okay, it's got a ring with a couple of holes in it. First thing you want to do is to highlight all of your lines. And the first thing you have to do is you have to go up to the stroke, okay? And you need to turn all the line weights to 0 0.001. So what I like to do is I like to double click that. Okay, I like to type in 0 0.001 and then you click enter, okay? This is because the laser cutter only recognizes lines that are at a 0 0.001 line weight. And this goes to for the same thing for the vinyl cutter, okay? Once that's done, you go to File, Print, okay? And you're going to see that uh, the menu box pops up and it's automatically loaded up to the Cherokee Epilogue Engraver, okay? And that's what you want. Over here, you're going to check to see if your file is oriented correctly, and most likely it's not. Um, the width you need to turn to 18, and the height is 12. That's the size of the laser cutter bed. Um, if it's not correct, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Setup, Cherokee Engraver, and that's the case, you know, 99% of the time. And now you're going to see the dialog pop up for the laser cutter epilogue um, driver. This looks intimidating, but it's not, okay? Um, depending on whether you're engraving something or whether you're cutting something, you're going to change these settings. There are three settings for cutting. They are speed, power, and frequency. Uh, the speed dictates the um, speed of the motorhead and how quickly it moves. The qu more quickly it moves, think about something passing over a material very quickly, the less powerful it's going to be. Then there's power, all right, and that dictates how powerful the actual laser beam is. All right, and then frequency, which is how many um, kind of light diodes are emitted all at the same time to cut the um, material, okay? And all those three functions work in conjunction with one another to control the, the heat, the power, and the speed of the laser cutter. Right here, if you're just cutting material, which is what we're doing, I'm gonna change it to vector. I need to make sure that the piece size is 18 by 12. And then the settings are going to be determined by the material that I'm going to be cutting. And I know I'm going to be cutting acrylic. So 110, 100 works. All right, and I'm going to show you guys the chart later. Uh, and then the frequency right now is set to automatic. I actually like to input my own frequency. That's just the way I am. And for acrylic, I know it's 5,000. So once all that is set, I'm going to press OK. Um, and then I'm going to press print. Everything here should be correct and I'm gonna press print. Once I do that, it's gonna send the file over to the laser cutter.